Tommy Tofu. Hey, everyone. Okay. Okay. How are you? <laughs> you not gone home yet? No. I thought you booked ticket three days. You changed the ticket. How many people changed ticket? Raise hand. Wow. Very much changing. <laughs> How long? <laughs> How long did you change? Fifteen days. Fifteen? Uh, yeah, instead of seven, some of us Some stay until fifteen. Ah, congratulations for the change of your life. <laughs> I don't know why you changed so much. Okay. Korea? Yeah, yeah. You have a question? Yeah. <laughs> they always say yeah. <laughs> when I first came to Korea, yeah, whatever I said, I said yeah. I thought, oh, you speak English, and then I blah, 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 and, and then <laughs> no, no understand, Master. <laughs> master, may I? Ask you a question. Question, yeah, okay. My wife, uh, three days ago, said to me, you have a choice between religion and wife, but I choose religion. Why have to choose? Have both. My wife said, you will not find any more in our house. You get out. I have to divorce my wife. No, you just go home and say, Honey, I love you. Please stay. I keep to trying to persuade my wife. He makes food for me, vegetarian, but he won't to any more vegetarian husband. From today, if you, you came here, no more vegetarian. And she left, right? Yeah. Can you cook? Number one, can you cook? Uh, oh, never mind. Okay, don't worry. If she really kick you out, you you have many Korean <laughs> friends. You can go stay with them. Cheaper. <laughs> okay. Suppose she don't, she doesn't let you come back home. What will happen? I mean, any complication? Children, mortgage, bank account together, house. You have no money, or oh, what? What happened to you? If she locked the door and don't let you, do you have the keys? You have, right? She will change the she change the lock. key number. Change the key number. Oh, yeah, of course. That you can. You uh, don't uh, go home anymore. <laughs> not go home anymore. Oh, maybe she's just angry. She did not mean. Okay, you go home and check it out. Okay. I uh, kneel in front of the door. <laughs> Say, honey, I'm kneeling here, please forgive me. Yeah, woman, they're soft, you know. They say a little bit, but maybe not mean, okay? PMS sometimes. PMS? <laughs> Every month, a woman has a little problem for a few days, okay? Maybe after that, she is better. Hmm? Anyway, suppose he doesn't really want you to go back home, what will happen? Is there any complication? If you have no more wife, no house, do you have some money? I have. Uh. All money, my wife. Your wife, take care of everything. <laughs> take care of your money, right? I have no money. Oh, okay. My house, uh, money. Everything belongs all to All wives. <laughs> Wow, very smart boy. Yeah. <laughs> Money is a cause of problem, so let somebody else take care. It's very good. And then you're free. <laughs> Do you have a tent? <laughs> you camp outside the garden until she softens and let you in. Okay? You don't choose nothing. You just continue with your life with your wife, okay? Thank you, Master. Mm, she may be just angry, you know, just angry. But when you come back, you're soft and you're humble, then she'll take you back in, okay? Yes. You put a tent outside of the garden, starving for two, three days. You won't die, I promise. And get some water from the garden tap, drink, but not eat. <laughs> and then 
Maybe she softened, okay? Yes. And before you die of starvation, move out to disciples' house, okay? Uh, yes. Live with them, let them take care of you, go get a job. Huh? If not, uh, shave your head, go temple. <laughs> <laughs> temple always has food. You clean the yard, you wash the bathroom toilet, yeah? You take care of the old abbot, yeah? Work for food, got that? Yes, three days ago, I cook my food. You cook your own food already? Wow, that's a, it's a good beginning. Yeah, don't worry, you won't die, okay? Whatever happened, okay? You have a lot of friends. Huh? How many Koreans are still here? Raise hand. Okay, take him in if he's homeless. <laughs> okay? I, I wonder, she has cheated me for new love, I suspect. Ah, oh, then, then okay, then it's a good time to say goodbye and wish her happiness and say yonara. How do you say goodbye in Korean? Goodbye, 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요, okay, 안녕히 가세요. Yeah. What for? You want a person who doesn't want you anymore, okay? You make a new life. I'm wondering, I haven't sure. Are you not sure? Okay, okay. Okay, then you go try, okay? You go home and try. Try soft way, okay? Pray. Yeah. Only pray. <laughs> <laughs> Please, to her, not just pray inside. <laughs> okay, talk sweet, all right? If you still want her, you must try. Uh-huh. Okay? Thank you, Master. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. I tell you, I told you, be alone is free. Nobody listen, huh? I'm sorry for your situation, huh? Is the first time you come here? Three times. Uh, three times? Ah, uh. oh, okay. Then why she make ultimatum this time? Why this time? I uh, have very much uh, respect for you. Hmm? Do you still love your wife? It's okay if she is not in your life. If no wife, okay or not okay? Uh, okay. Then okay. Then whatever happen, be prepared. Okay. Yes. If she take you in, okay. If she doesn't take you in, then you free. Okay. Yeah. Uh, two, two choice only. Wife take you in, okay. Together fine. Yeah. If don't take you in, free. free. Got that? <laughs> yes. hmm. Sometimes. Karma finished cannot continue, okay? Not your wife's problem, not your problem, karma finished, okay? okay? Sometimes, yeah. So, cry a little bit, pack your luggage, go to one of your brother's sister's house, pay the rent, go make money, <laughs> enjoy your freedom, okay? Yes. Come here anytime you want, stay as long as you like. No need reporting to the boss. Yeah? <laughs> Your boss at home, no need. Understand? Yes. All right then. Any other question? Yeah. Oh, by the way, Taiwan一共多少人？知不知道？五个。五个。桃桃园两个。桃园两个。台中一个。台中一个。屏东一个。屏东一个。高雄一个。高雄一个。五个。有照顾的好，有方有办法照顾哈。有。OK，没有办法就带到西
or not help, up to now you did not need any help. So if you united together, helping each other, that's good enough. Okay? Hmm. Other countries, they're okay or not okay, we cannot control them. Hmm? Just be together, connect to each other, helping each other, honestly, sincerely, respectfully, then everything will be fine. Okay? Nothing can be, nothing can just happen like overnight. Nothing always happens the way we want because the world is different karma. Many people, many countries, different opinion, different handling, you know, a way, a different diplomatic relationship. We cannot control everything. Huh? Okay? Just together. Huh? Korea together. United we stand. Because if not united, it's more vulnerable. Okay? But if united, strong. Then slowly everything will take care of itself. Huh? Okay? I wish your country the best of luck. Right. It's already getting better. Huh? All right. A lot of Korean practice sincerely since I first came to Korea. And so your country keeps changing better and better, okay? And we will have more Korean practitioner, country changing all the time. Mm -hmm. But we cannot always control the whole world diplomatic situation. Yeah. Every country, they have their own interest. Yes, not only the interest of Korea, but their own interest and their own uh, policy. And even a president of any country cannot always decide everything alone. They have to have approval from their parliament or from uh, Congress and stuff like that. And there's always some <laughs> pro and con, and that's how things are not always the way we like. But just meditate, pray, okay, and it all will be well. Hmm? Take time. <laughs> Any more question? Korea can ask more if you want, okay? I wanted to talk to you yesterday. Yeah. It's not really a question. I just walked around here today. It was so magical. I see the videos of you when you were building the place, and it's just so magical. It's what a blessing to be here. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it here also. It's just uh, the other places are better for you. Mm? In case, uh, you know, weather change. Yeah. Otherwise, here is nice. You sit under the tree, you know. You feel like you're following the Buddha and uh, ancient master sitting <laughs> under the tree and enjoying fresh air. Listen a little bit water. The water sound, you see, feel nice, huh? Okay. All right. So we can always come and go if situation arise. We just come here again. Hmm? No problem. All right. Any more question or opinion? 어제 스승님께서 궁극의 스승님이라고 알려주셔서 정말 감사드립니다. 그리고 그런 궁극의 스승님께 가르침을 받게 되어서 영광입니다. Oh, I slipped it out. <laughs> I did not. I did not mean to report it to you. I was just saying, what did I say? And then it comes out or something. Master, you said when you speak to your higher self, you speak mm -hmm. to the ultimate supreme. No, no, ultimate master. And I always forget that title, because we always used to with supreme master, this supreme master, that. So I say supreme master, and then they say no, that's not the title. And I say okay. Uh, well, I say something, the highest master? No. Yeah, I have to say ultimate master. I don't know why. <laughs> I just leave it out, huh? Yeah, you guys, always, you and the SMTV before, always digging, digging, and then finally you got everything. You find out all my hiding, secret hiding, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not a question, huh? Okay. All right. Any others? Yeah. I also did not know that title until recently, because 
they have some message. I say, who is it? <laughs> I say, who spoke to me? Is it Maya again? Then get lost. And he said, no, not Maya. <laughs> I say, who are you? <laughs> and then the title came out. And then I said, oh, that's how we have to address you, huh? And I say, yes. And then I keep forgetting. You know, whenever I want to address, I just say, Supreme Master or the highest master. I thought that's good enough, you know. No, the, not the title. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> because the universe recognizes one title. Yeah. So, but I keep forgetting. I, I don't always speak directly all the time. You understand? I mean, my physical mind don't always speak directly. So I forget. Because this name we don't ever use. No, nobody ever used on this planet that title ever. And in our group, least of all, right? <laughs> Just Supreme Master even, if you even call me that anymore. Chigun은 네 가지 주기가 있다고 이제 들었습니다. 지금 칼리유가 지금 황금 시대로 들어가 있는데 아주 많은 시간이 흘러고 나서 칼리유가 시대가 다시 지구에 오게 되나요? 아니면 영원히 칼리 요가 시대는 없어지는 건가요? We just enjoy the golden age first, okay? <laughs> and everything else when it comes, I tell you, huh? <laughs> If I'm there. Don't worry too much, okay? Don't worry too much. Just like before, you keep asking me, oh, the Korean, oh, so hot, you know? Uh, utterly run, flying, uh, atom, and whatever, flying all over, and hard verbal flying between each other and fly to America, to Japan, and everywhere. I, and I told you not to worry, remember? It won't happen. The war won't happen. And then it didn't, okay? We shouldn't worry before things come. Hmm? Everybody was worried about after year 2000, the world will end. It did not. I keep telling you guys, I will be here. I will be here past year 2000, and I'm here, remember? I'm still here, no? Past 2012 even, that was the ultimate, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Just like your wife give you ultimatum. Everybody say 2012, we finito. But I keep telling you, nothing happened, okay? Mm. By the way, both of us old already. Even if Kali Yoga come, we don't care now. <laughs> if it comes, it comes, what can we do? Huh? Suppose the Kali Yoga will come back. Should I tell you now so that you even forget to enjoy the golden age and sit there and worry about, about the Kali Yoga all day long? Huh? Yeah, should not, okay? When the golden age comes, it will continue, at least for a long time. And all the prediction that you have seen, at least 1,000 more years, we, you, I, all gone, poop. <laughs> Even your uh, six, seven, uh, younger generation, we are also gone, yeah? Then we will have nothing to do <laughs> with that. <laughs> okay, enjoy, present time, hmm? always present. Anything else? Master, is it possible for you to tell us more about your ultimate and the secrets, if you're allowed to tell us any more of that? What for? It's just so nice to hear it, Master. I also don't know how to tell you. <laughs> I only discovered recently that title uh, a week ago or something. Okay. Yes. Just because uh, some, some warning came, desperate, urgent, and I never heard that before, so I said, who is it now? Is it Maya tricking me again or not? <laughs> and then this so-called ultimate master came, told me, it's you yourself. I said, I never said anything like that. And he said, the ultimate, ultimate master is yourself. I said, ah, so I have new title now. <laughs> so the boy said, no, it's not new, it's always there. Okay, that's it. It's just a name. What can I tell you? I don't know what to tell you. I'm all that you got, ultimate or not. 
just let you know about Tim Ko too. No? That's all. Just one of my stuff. <laughs> I've been in different levels and the different titles, many titles. That's all. Okay. Just like maybe one person, he is like a minister of interior, but he may be also a minister of uh, culture, something like that. Hmm? There's nothing much I can tell you. I don't know how. <laughs> what is it you want to know? He cannot come down here and read sutra for you, that's for sure. <laughs> No, it's just nice to hear when you have secrets, Master, and you're allowed to share them with us. So like when you mentioned that every day you go up 29 or 30 or 20, yeah. you know, it's just incredible. Cause mm -hmm. Incredible. I feel very it's strong, just, powerful. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The awe, you know, yeah. and we're so blessed and we're so lucky to, to be with you and to <laughs> know you. And everything you tell us is always such a, a beautiful... I don't know how to express it, Master. My words aren't serving me well, but it's nice to hear from you the truth that you're allowed to share with us. It's just one of the titles, okay? Like the Buddha, he has ten titles, yeah? One is Word Honor One. The other one is the Enlightened One. Uh, he has ten titles, yes. Some people call him Word Honor One. Some people call him Buddha, yeah? Some people call him... Enlightened one. Mm. Uh, some people call the Buddha heaven and man, the master, master of heaven and men. I mean, human. Yeah. For example, like that. I don't know how many more titles I have. Okay, don't ask me. I never check such thing. It make no difference to me. <laughs> it make, I don't feel any different. But I feel more. I feel more powerful recently. Okay. I feel more able to cope with uh, karma. Yeah. I feel more invincible. More doesn't mean complete. <laughs> okay. Just feel stronger. Yeah. Inside, eh? outside, it's the same. Mm. I just feel something, you know, like inside, I'm stronger, more powerful, because the world is so much karma. If I'm weaker and weaker, you know, or just stay weak like before, then I can't deal with it. I will be dead or oh, gravely ill, you understand? It's just my physical body, just like every of you. It's just uh, having not the lasting effect all the time, yeah? It's made of material things. Okay, any more? Uh, somebody else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dạ, thưa Sư Phụ, vừa rồi Sư Phụ có chị thì đi um, giúp đỡ những người neo đơn á, thì ở Việt Nam uh, có làm được hai trường hợp và có gửi thơ cảm ơn của chính quyền đâu ở cái vùng đó cảm ơn sư phụ nhưng cái vị cầm thơ bây giờ ngồi ở đâu ở dưới rồi sư phụ thì con trình sư phụ biết là à. xin cảm ơn cái tình thương của sư phụ ừ. okay. đã giúp đỡ cho những người neo đơn khó khăn ừ. we do that all the time huh? behind that Korean yeah, 한국 사람입니다 북한에 유일하게 스승님이 한 번도 방문하시지 않는 나라입니다. 어, 그곳에도 그 해탈을 갈망하는 대중들이 많이 있을 것인데 그분들을 어떻게 제도할 수 있겠습니까? 그것이 궁금합니다. I don't know how. <웃음> I don't know how. Yes. We just wait and see, okay? Yeah. I'm only one person, okay? And everybody, every country want to take me there, want to take me here, want to take me everywhere. It's not always possible for my physical to answer to all the demand, okay? Huh? Even just one time I went to Busan or somewhere in Korea, one time, long time ago. Uh, and I went there to see all the initiates. And then another person said, Oh, Master, but there are one person who live far away. <laughs> she or he, I can't remember, cannot come. And another two who stay far away here cannot come. I don't know for what reason. Can you go there and see them? If I go see everybody, you know, in every country, it would be not possible. Huh? Mm. 
none of the masters go everywhere, okay? The political reason, transportation, and uh, affinity, hmm? okay? Affinity. Even Sekamoni Buddha has not been everywhere, okay? He just go, went around nearby Nepal or I India, yeah? Not even, just nearby cities, yeah? And then uh, Jesus Christ also did not just go anywhere, not even within his own country. Uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also not even visited all this, the regions in the country. And nowadays I, I'm quite more busy, yeah? And physically, physically not uh, always feasible to travel. Hmm? If I travel to one country or two, and then I'll be too busy there, and then I neglect many other important things for the whole world. Understand me? Yeah. Okay, anyone else? Yes, here you go. Beloved Master, I have learned in my life that you cannot describe God. Yes. And then uh, you are a source of everything that there is and there isn't. If there isn't, is also part of there is. Nobody can describe you. You, you. you may have billions of titles, we don't know, but you know how big is original world. And they know you as Tim Koto. And for me, there is nothing like before I said, nothing beyond you, nothing above you. You are source of everything. <laughs> and then Thank we you. are just left over fraction of you. We never ever understand your glory and your beauty and your majesty. For me, you are everything. There is nothing beyond you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you truly understand that, good for you. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I just do my job every day, whatever I can, as a physical body allows, yeah? And the inside work is it's a different power that's working, okay? Huh? Yeah. Is the Supreme Master working? <laughs> Ultimate Master. <laughs> Some, yeah, when I try to pronounce, I said, oh, 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 what? <laughs> I forgot. We don't often say this word, right? Yes. But today he's talking about ultimatum, and then she sprung out, remember yesterday, and I forgot about it already. <laughs> Originally, I would never even want to say anything about who I really was and all that. I was kind of, uh, number one, I'm shy. Number two, I thought, how, how people understand anything? Anyway, yeah? I can't even prove it. So I did not want to. And the SMTV, oh, digging, digging, digging. <laughs> By the way, talking, and then it comes out, you know? And then after a while, I thought, oh, no, what the hell, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then from then on, I feel, um, I feel more relaxed to tell things, yes. Otherwise, before that, you know, I never wanted to. I feel very shy, yeah, and I feel like useless telling people what. Maybe only cause trouble for myself. Even when I first came out of the name, Supreme Master has already caused me a lot of trouble. But there are many Supreme Masters, you know, Supreme Court, the Supreme, the <laughs> Supreme Ice Cream, Supreme... <laughs> Sup <laughs> Even then, it caused me a lot of trouble already. Not to talk about anything else beyond that. Anything else? Hmm,感謝합니다.건강하시고요.항상모든열일을십시오.그리고요.저는,呃,입문하고나서,呃,낮에는일을해야되고,밤에만명상을하는것이습관이돼서한8년정도부터이렇게밤에눕지를못하고
감사 합니다. <웃음> yes, please. 예, 스승님께서 이제 예. <웃음> 그 SNTV에서 그 한국에 두번 왕으로 오셨던 것을 말씀해 주셔서 감사하고요. 혹시 그 한국에도 깨달으신 그 부처님이 오신 적이 있는지 알고 싶습니다. Yeah, I'll translate behind it. Yes. Yeah, you recently told on the SNTV you are the king of the in Korea like two times. Uh, yeah, also somebody digging it out. <laughs> Some Korean. Yes. Yes, uh, he asked also about you. Any time you came to Korea as a saint, beings. Mm. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, couple of times, two times. Thank you very much, Master. Mm. What's the use of asking all this anyway? Huh? I was king of Korea, so what now? I couldn't even go visit Pongyang. I must ask permission. Huh? What's the use of asking all that? Hmm. And I was a master two times, so what now? It's a different time. Now, how many Koreans follow me? A lot, of course, but not the whole Korea. We just forget the past is the best, yeah? Because if I keep remembering the past, I get angry. <laughs> it's my house over there. <laughs> it's my place that you're sitting on. <laughs> and now you don't let me in. <laughs> Remember the joke on SMTV? The past master and his temple? He, he reincarnated again, the same place. And then people don't let him in the temple. Because uh, last time he reincarnated as a lady, remember? Remember that joke? It's real. It's real. It's just a little different. <laughs> and I tell you a Korean joke, okay? You like Korean joke? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's one uh, true seeker, you know, so called true seeker. He went to see a teacher, a Zen master, or some masters of some kind, Zen master. And the Zen master asked, huh? I thought you were following the Korean monk uh, uh, something? Yeah. The, yeah, I don't believe in him anymore, so I came to you. So the master asked, why is that? He's an enlightened master. He's good. And the uh, true seeker said, yeah, but he, he likes kimchi a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the Zen master said, oh, he's Korean, of course he likes kimchi. What's wrong with that? And the disciples say, oh, if you cannot detach from kimchi, then you're not enlightened master, in my opinion, in his opinion. Uh, so the Zen master say, yeah, you're right. Yeah, very difficult to be detached to something that you used to since you were young. Yeah? But I know one master, he also one Korean Zen master, he also wanted to try to forget about kimchi, but he cannot. <laughs> But finally, finally he can uh, detach himself from kimchi. Oh, disciples, so happy. Oh, really? Well, he must be enlightened. Where is he, Master? Where? Can I go? I go visit him. What's his name? He said, oh, you can't visit him. I said, why? Why? He don't take disciple? And uh, so the Zen Master said, uh, he's in the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> under the earth already, <laughs> very detached, detached from everything, not only kimchi, but everything. <laughs> By the way, if you like to eat kimchi, there are some vegan kimchi, you know, they put ginger instead of, of garlic and onion, and I love them very much. And some our disciples, they make it, you know, they make this kimchi. You can ask if they have it, some different center they have. Okay? Yeah. Oh, a long time I didn't have any kimchi. I must ask for some now. I'm not uh, detached, sorry. <laughs> I love kimchi. <laughs> if you go find another master, I, I don't blame you. <laughs> even I'm not Korean, even. 
I'm not a master, Zen, Korean Zen master, you know. I like kimchi, so what? What are you going to do about it? Huh? <laughs> Leave me? <laughs> say yo nara. <laughs> and I say yo. <laughs> Yeah, who cares if you leave or you go? <laughs> Any more question? Annyeonghaseyo. <laughs> 네, 안녕하세요. 시우에 6년 만에 왔는데요. 음, 그 전에는 많이 왔었는데 다른 사람들하고 많이 달랐거든요. 다른 사람들을 보면은 스승님을 너무 뵙고 싶어하고 행복해하고 그랬었는데. 저는 그렇지가 않았었거든요. No, fine. Why? What have I done? Oh, don't care. 아니, 제 <웃음> Don't have to feel guilty. You see me because some need more than you need. Some people are more thirsty, they drink more. Okay? Some people are more hungry, they eat more. If you're Korean, you eat more kimchi than the Jew is over here. Huh? He like kimchi, but he eat now and then only. Yeah? Okay. 아 그런데 제가 채식 식단 일을 12년 동안 했는데. 음, good. 어 6년 동안 모든 거는 바쁘고 사람이 없어서 모든 이유이기도 하고요. Okay, it's okay. 어 시우나 캉쿤이나 마틴 센터나 그런 데를 갈 때마다 저는 행복하지가 않았었거든요. 근데 제가 그런 항상 나쁜 에너지 사람들은 상상하지 못할 정도로 나쁜 에너지와 싸우고 있었는데 그런 영향을 스승님한테 줄까 봐서 스승님한테 그런 나쁜 영향을 주지 않기 위해서도 가지 않아야겠다는 생각을 했었거든요. 아, nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. You don't know if other people have more negative energy. Even. Can we measure it somehow? Maybe you have to um, take a measure tape and say, "Oh, this guy, maybe more negative energy, two centimeters more." <laughs> If you can measure it, then you can blame yourself. Okay? I cannot. I don't have a measure tape for this guy or this girl negative energy, so I just take them all in. Okay? Except some really that make themselves too obvious and affecting the whole assembly. You know. Stirring up problem or sticking out like a sore thumb, and so maybe I have to do something to cut off some of his ego. Yeah, but uh, normally, uh, if you keep quiet, just sit there. I don't have any measure tip. Hmm? <laughs> don't worry. If you like to come, you come. If you don't like, you don't come. One time enough. Hmm? One time come to see master physical is more than enough. Nowadays we have even uh, TV. Yeah. You can see me when I'm talking live. That's also almost like seeing the physical body. Okay? It's not a rule. It's not an advice. It's kind of a wisdom. Okay? In spiritual lineage, wisdom they advise, and also the master advise the disciple to at least come to see the physical master one time, even though they are initiated by their appointed. Disciple, even in in Buddhist sutra, they also say, "Do hear the master's name, and you see the master body, you get liberation." Even the non-initiated, if they are pure at heart, otherwise the master stay in heaven, just a hula hop down here, yeah, get the whole world initiated. Do some miracle, appear in here, appear in there, do something spectacular, stunning, and all the world will follow. The rule is like that. In the physical universe, that's how it works. Huh? Okay? Just like you go to university, even though you have books of science, you have books of medical uh, practice, you go to university. To learn with the real professor, huh? but that is, is not a very hundred percent good <laughs> example, but something like that. Yeah. In this world, we have physical body. We need physical means to transmit. In not just the Buddha in India, they say like that. If you see the master once, even you are redeemed. Yeah. There are many instances. 
in India, like uh, from Baba Savan Singh, there was a story that uh, he just passed by somewhere and one farmer saw him. Yeah. He didn't even know that he's a master, just saw him and then uh, next day he died. Uh, before he died, he said, Oh, there are, yesterday I saw that man with the bear such and such. He's coming now to take me to heaven, so don't cry. So he told his relative something like that. Okay, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, anything else? Yeah. But nowadays we have television, it could be okay, it could be good. <laughs> and real photos, also good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe if the master is powerful enough, that should be enough. <laughs> but then there was one Chinese sister in front of the assembly, say that the inner master told her that she should come and see also the physical master, one time at least. If you were there, were some of you heard that or not? No? Mm. I was on the days and the stage, not like private talk. Okay? Yeah. All right then. Mm. If you cannot see physical master, then watch a video, you know? Or watch something live, like flying new or something, when the master talking recently, like two, three days ago. It also helped. Okay? Yeah. It also helped. <laughs> Pray to the ultimate master. <laughs> Thanks to the ultimate master. <laughs> it's funny how the universe just pick one name <laughs> and not other name. Same with the name of the power or name of the realms that I passed. They pick it. it must be that name <laughs> because it's already engraved in the system of the universe. Yes, just like. Um, the president, huh? You call him president, yeah? You just call him president because he's a president, yeah? Like American president, you don't call him the leader of America. <laughs> it's just said the same meaning. <laughs> it's just it's not appropriate. Let's just call him president, yeah? President Bill Clinton, President Obama, and then now President Trump. Ah, yeah. For example. They don't call the leader of America Mr. Trump, okay? Even though it means the same. It's like that. It's just the way it works anywhere, huh? Okay? For example, monk, okay? You call him the reverend monk or the reverend. You can also call him, I'll say, a renunciate. But that's not proper. It's, it's the same meaning, yeah? But you call him the reverend monk. So and so name. Got that? You don't call him the renunciate, Shang Yen, whatever, yeah? Okay? You don't call that. You, see, you say the monk Shang Yen or the reverend Shang Yen. Even though a renunciate is the same, or a mendicant, also the same. The one who left home to seek the truth. Same meaning, no? But we don't normally call that. That's all. Okay? <laughs> all right, my God. Is the universe up there also as complicated as down here? I thought it's not the same. I thought it's different, you know? You call what you want to call. <laughs> mm. Just like when you address the king, eh, you say, for example, King Mohammed something. You cannot say the monarch Mohammed, but people don't say that. The monarch, you know, is a king. Fine. And maybe in writing you say that, huh? But when you address properly, you say the king. Huh? Okay? Right. Okay, so that's that. <laughs> it takes me some days to, to repeat the ultimate master correctly. Now I'm telling you, I say it correctly, but sometimes when I need to talk in a hurry, and I forgot. <laughs> I, I forgot. What was that then? What? What? <laughs> and then I just say, oh, the Supreme Master, you know what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> And then just laugh, you know. Okay, any more question? Yeah, Korean again, huh? Ah, 네 스승님이 얼마 전에요 오세기 이상 깨달으신 분이 2,090명이라고 발표를 하셨는데요. 궁금한 거는 한국에 오세기 이상 깨달으신 분이 얼마나 계시는지 그게 궁금하고요. 그다음에 한국 인문자들이 
어, 몇, 년, 몇년 전에 비해서 많이 고향되고 발전되었는지 그게 좀 궁금합니다. 음. 감사합니다. Yeah. I don't care. Okay? I just say general, I don't have time to keep sitting here looking at the crystal ball and keep telling you anything that you like, okay? Just something important, all right? If I told you a Korean, uh, many, many, you guys would be too proud, too arrogant, and then look down upon other countries, no good. Uh, the ego always play trick, no? no good, okay? It's better we don't know too much about these things. <laughs> And then the Korean just keep looking at each other. It must be him. <laughs> ah, it's her, it's her. Oh, no, that, that one look like. Yeah. It's like that. And then that person also think, oh, then when they think I'm fifth level, I must be fifth level. And then begin making trouble for themselves. Or they begin to make trouble for that person. The ego is the biggest problem, huh? When I remember that, because in Hungary, I just asked about something. Can you guess who is a fifth level person or something? I don't know. And then some person said, it's him. It's him, it's him. It's not. That person is so low. <laughs> Third level only. But he looked like, looked like and are at different things. You can never tell, okay? It's better you don't just look upon the Korean as enlightened saints. You look upon all your brothers and sisters, have respect for each other. Then it will be better hmm? for the whole world. Okay? Yeah. Mm. We are uh, international. We don't say which one is better. All right, huh? All right. Uh, anyone else? Yeah. Korea? <웃음> yeah. 스승님 저는 어, 저기 입문하기 전에도 그렇고 책도 많이 못 보고 사실 공부도 못 했는데 그 SMTV를 보면서 스승님께서 이렇게 세, 세계 각국의 문화라든가 모든 종교의 성인이라든가 이런 분들에 대해서 많은 공부를 하게 돼서 저는 너무너무 감사한데요. 제가 스승님께서 이렇게 애쓰시는 모습을 볼때 저는 진짜 마음이 안타깝습니다. 식사도 제대로 못 하시고 너무 바쁘게 사시는 걸볼때 너무 너무 마음이 안타깝고 뭐 제, 제가 조금이라도 조금 더 이렇게 도움이 되지도 못하고 그런 부분에서 죄송하고요. 어, 스승님 부디 건강하시고 편안하시고 행복하십시오. And I work very hard. And I should live long, work hard, continue. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody wants to live long. And not me really, but I will live long. <laughs> as long as possible. Okay? Yeah. If you guys don't... <laughs> if everyone just let me do my real job and not bugging me for every little pickle on their... You know, where, right? <laughs> Cinnamon again. Why do they give you cinnamon tea? Does it have any good property for your... It reduces your stress level? Oh, then I should drink it before. <laughs> you should have told me before I even beginning. What, love? If you have flu, they also put the cinnamon in to help you boost your immune system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe it's good for this retreat. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Before I got the flu, I should drink it, right? <laughs> <laughs> there was a mother tell the kid, you must drink this medicine. He said, what for? For the cough. She said, oh, I don't. I don't want to drink it. And the mother asked, why? Because everybody who, who drinks that is coughing. <laughs> It's not the cure, it's the cause. <laughs> ah, okay then. Don't feel guilty, okay? Even if I complain sometimes, I just want to tell you the truth so that if I don't do what you want all the time or if I don't see you too often, then you know why. It's a kind of apology, not a complaint. Understand? Because you could never understand how busy I am. Every time I come to you, we just take time, uh, laughing, tell a story, wearing beautiful clothes, stuff, you know. I feel like I have nothing to do in the world except waiting for you to come. So I had to tell you sometimes things, okay? 
it's, don't feel guilty about it, okay? Everyone is busy in different ways, and I am just glad that I can be busy for the sake of others, instead of just busy for myself or busy for mundane things. Okay, huh? Yeah. I'm glad I can. It's just not just that I want you to know I cannot just do everything all the time the way everybody expects. Okay? That is all. Okay? I'm willing, you know. If not, I don't have to come. I don't have to continue. Right? I don't have to. I continue and willingly and, how you say, lovingly. Okay? Uh, from love and for love. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, because I want you to be better, huh? and then you can make others better. And we all together, we can make the world a better place, okay? At least some corner of the world is better. Having one lamp on the street, better than no lamp ever. Hmm? Having one sun is good for the whole world, half of the world at a time, but that's better than half of the world never see the sun. Yeah? The next day is another place to see the sun. Yeah? And the moon also, one moon is okay. Yeah? We don't see it all the time because the moon has to go in other opposite direction, but we see it sometimes and we enjoy it. Okay? So, the moon did not have to explain, you understand. Next one, anyone? If not, I read the Surangama Sutra. Okay, I read the one that we left yesterday. Okay, huh? Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Yeah. Voila. You are no man. You are excused. <laughs> Stretch it out. Be relaxed. Don't be a monk all the time. Everybody knows you are a monk <laughs> because you dress like a monk. Yeah. The dress is also make a difference. Yeah. People think you are a monk. They have respect. And they, even if they try to uh, seduce you, they have to think twice. <laughs> it's kind of protection also. I'm vulnerable. <laughs> I don't have protective layers. <laughs> this one protects me from something else. Hmm? Screen out the non true seeker. Yeah? Uh, but uh, it doesn't protect me when I go outside. Understand? Yeah, if I wear this, <laughs> it protects me more. Now, Kuan Yin Pusa, Kuan Yin Bodhisattva continue expounding her power, yeah. Explaining, not to the Buddha, of course, they all stood up, uh, bowed to the Buddha, respectfully talked to him. But it's not the Buddha who needed to know. The reason the Buddha asked the question is because the Buddha wanted the whole monk's assembly and all the people in that assembly understand what method is the best. You got that? Yes. Okay. And uh, Chinese nun can come here, uh, if you want. Or uh, over there also, okay, up to, up to you. Ni yao chu na li ye okay. Tao shi yao shang lai ma, ho shi na bien okay, xing la, very good. I am sorry, my house never big enough, always something wrong. <laughs> Always something not good enough. I say, if you satisfy yourself, then you always have enough. Yeah. And if you don't know satisfaction, then you never have enough. That's why your brother feel sorry for me. I live in a cave and don't have this and don't have that. I am so happy. I keep telling them, but I don't think they ever believe it. So used to a big house and car and all this uh, <laughs> phenomena, <laughs> necessity. They feel sorry for me. Don't, okay? Don't. Because I'm really happy. I feel I have more than anybody else in the whole world, at least better than the homeless people. I have more than all the monks in the Himalaya and in, the, in India or elsewhere. I already have too much, too much, just because of my position, my job. Otherwise, I would have much less, just like when I was in the Himalaya, in Rishikesh. That's where I'm happiest, truly happy. 
You just feel so free, you know. You don't even think that you feel free or not. You just feel so happy and free, even though I was so short of uh, physical comfort. No? I don't dare to eat more than one. I loved samosa. When I was in India, oh, that's my addiction. But I don't dare to eat every day samosa, then one only. They make a small one, not like the Indian outside, they make a big samosa like this, you know. Three people can take care of it. But in India, Rishikesh, they make it so small, very small, about this much. I never have enough. <laughs> and they make so delicious, I don't know, heaven. Taste of, huh? You can make tomorrow? You still here? Yes, Are you I know Indian? how. Yes, oh, Master, we know make. how to make yeah. it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Because uh, if I am in Europe, I often go Indian restaurant and eat it, or order to bring to a house to eat. But here I don't go anywhere. If I want to eat the samosa like that, I must go all the way to Taipei. If they have, uh, maybe they have. I'm sure they have an Indian restaurant, but all the way to Taipei. Two hours, huh? Uh, my wife makes samosa cake. Uh, your wife made what? Samosa pie along the cake. Where? She's here at home. Ah. My wife, she's expert in samosa. Okay, where is she? Why don't she sit she's with you? She's a Filipino. The Philippine? Nelly, come. Nelly, come here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Take advantage <laughs> yes. of the situation. You can come have a look. She's excellent. <laughs> okay, good. Well, these are another expert, uh, Indian even. I don't know if Philippine can make samosa. If you are shy, you sit there. It's okay. She's shy, I think. Don't worry. Okay, together with you. And you put one tray uh, written Philippine samosa. <laughs> the other one, Indian samosa. Yeah, Nepal samosa, <laughs> Sri Lanka samosa. Everybody makes something. Then we see which country is the best. <laughs> I think India, you know. I tell you sometimes, I really miss that time. I have nothing. I have only two Punjab suit and a staff and a plate so I can bake chapati on the fire. The fire, I, I pick up the wood from the, from the forest and water is plenty. <laughs> water is plenty. It's just a filter water from the Ganges. I can use, do anything. And you cook a little bit for yourself. Oh, it feels so nice. Because you pick up the wood yourself, and you put three stones, a small stone, and then you have a fire just right there in front of the yard. Three stones and one little plate. Before, I used to have also a little cup with a small mouth to get water. But after a long time, I can't afford it. Just a one plate, a little dip. Not flat plate, but it's a little bit deep wall. I cook water also with that, just one, chapati, water, <laughs> and that's all. And it was heaven kind of life. And I see people around me, you know, they're all loving, loving and kind. There are foreigners also there. We always say hello and, and each one do where, whatever. Nobody bother nobody. Nobody come for me for blessing or anything. They don't care about me. They go to big guru, <laughs> yellow rope and <laughs> big long white bird or something. Nobody take advantage of me. Nobody care about who I am. <laughs> so I was so free because of that. Nah? But we're very friendly to each other. Wonderful, a wonderful village of all foreigners. And there's one Philippine doctor kind of practice. He offered to even stretch my bones for me. Oh, I was happy, volunteer. <laughs> he said, go my practice, I do some cracking up for you. I said, sorry, so I don't have much money, I really can't afford it. He said, no, free, free of charge for everyone here. He came there just to do this, so free of charge. Yeah, until I left, he was still there. <laughs> and he really cracking well. I hear crack, crack, but it didn't, didn't hurt. Oh, man, we should study Buddha scripture, not talking nonsense. <laughs> we should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who have taken time to record the Buddha's teaching after 
the masters nirvana and also for the past and present persons lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. According to Buddhism and the believer and the tradition, when you read sutra and all that, you have to put on incense, flower, you know, and bow to the sutra first and thank all the Buddhas and Bodhisattva in ten directions, all respectfully, before you read it, okay? And then you cover the sutra also with silk or, you know, beautiful cloth, and I just make it more popular, yeah, more easy, simple. And I apologize to all the Buddha. I say, if I've done something wrong, according to the tradition, my heart is full of respect. It's just that I cannot always do that. So please, all the sin, whatever I've done wrong, is all on me. At least other people, they hear the names of the Buddha, according to the Sutta, they will get benefit. Yes. The Kuan Yin Bodhisattva continue to explain what kind of power and ability Kuan Yin method she has attained. Okay, now, continue. If there are those who are studying, who have severed the twelve links of condition, causation, and having severed the conditions, reveal a supreme nature, and who are superior and wonderful and manifest perfection, I will appear before them in the body of one enlightened to conditions and speak Dharma for them, causing them to attain liberation. See, liberation is hard to attain. You see, up to now, Kuan Yin Bodhisattva telling us these are superior beings that she were helping. It's not normal people even. These people who are practicing or studying already reveal their super nature and reveal their fundamental brightness and all that, or they still did not get liberation. It's still one step short. This is the thing. That's where the Master needs to <laughs> reincarnate and brainwash you <laughs> into knowing what to do. Understand now? Uh, Kwan Yin Bodhisattva has to do it. This guy even already severed all the, the twelve links of condition, causation, karma even clean up already. And having severed all conditions, reveal a supreme nature already. I am just a supreme master, a similar only. <laughs> and already people don't like. So many of them, they can sever their karma, condition of uh, trouble and still not get liberation. The last link cannot step up. There is a curtain, yeah? Mm -hmm. There is a boundary that stops you from stepping out of the three world. Even the fourth world is only a buffer zone. But that buffer zone is forbidden. It's there to stop anyone who's unworthy to come up. Not to talk about fifth level yet, but when you're on the fourth level, you free. Never have this false suffering anymore, never be reborn and die, and, unless you want to, for some reason, come back down, help somebody, or follow a master again, just to get to the fifth level quicker, then you do it yourself. Then you can. You have a choice. People on, from the fourth level upward, even in shadow world, they have a choice to reincarnate or not. That is a good thing about being liberated. But if you're not above the level, you have no choice. You'll be reincarnated when your time's up, in whatever form, depend on your waiting karma, waiting list. 
Remember one of the story I told you about one of the wife of the kings of heaven? Yeah, she still need to go incarnated in the world. And as a what? First, as a flamingo or a heron even. And then she has to eat the fish. And she say, yucky, you have to swallow. Remember that? Because she still has the consciousness of heaven. And poor, she has to eat the fish. Yeah, she even know that. Yeah. And she came up. Remember that? Imagine you're fully conscious and you know you should not eat the live fish, but you had to because you're reborn as a heron. What else would you eat? Huh? The heron, they have very long back so that they can swoop on the fish and eat them alive. And she knows it's very bad because later she tells her husband, <laughs> Or she tells somebody. And then she reincarnates again or another one as a human. And then have to marry, have four children, bearing all this pain of pregnancy and labor. And all the while they have not even finished plucking flower up there. <laughs> not even noon time. Yeah. So our life here seems long because of the time. The time illusion makes us feel like we live long. For heaven, it's just a blinking of an eye. So you see, liberation is something precious. Not everyone earn it. Not everyone can bestow. So if we are lucky, we met a master who can liberate us, then we count ourselves among the luckiest of all beings, not just on the planet, of the heavens even. I'm not saying that to make you grateful or anything. I'm just saying as general explanation because of the sutra. That's why people revered Kuan Yin Bodhisattva, because she is merciful. She helped you to sever the last link, to cut off from everything that binds you in this physical world, then you are liberated. Yes. Outside of the three worlds, then you are liberated. The Kuan Yin Bodhisattva not just help people liberate it, she also help people in trouble, you see? Like the fire don't burn you, and like the story I told you, the bullet don't kill you. He not even scratch. <laughs> it's funny. They, they do like this. When they shoot the guns, huh? Machine yeah, machine gun. They do tu -tu -tu like that, the whole back and forth, bang, make sure everybody die. He also fell down, but he didn't die. If somebody else fell on him, and then he fell then still don't die. <laughs> that person in front of him, cover him up. He is the only one who survived from that whole group of uh, death squad. And then he became a monk from then on, his whole family also, because he has firm faith in Kuan Yin Bodhisattva and the Buddhist Dharma, Buddha Dharma. Don't wait huh, until something like that happen. Oh, please don't. Don't try, huh? <laughs> don't test Kuan Yin Bodhisattva. <laughs> now, next one, next of her benevolent mission. If there are those who are studying, who have attained the emptiness of the Four Truths and cultivating the way, have entered extinction and have a superior nature and manifest perfection, I will appear before them in the body of a sound hearer and speak Dharma. Oh, that yesterday we read already, huh? <laughs> and I uh, help him liberation. Never mind, I read more. If there are living beings who wish to have their minds be clear and awakened, who do not engage in mundane desires, and wish to purify their bodies. I will appear before them in the body of a Brahma king and speak Dhamma for them, causing them to attain liberation. The Brahma king cannot cause you to attain liberation. It is a Kuan Yin Bodhisattva in that form only. The Brahma king is still subject to life and death 
and karma. So when his time is up, he has to relinquish his kingdom, his position, reincarnate again as something else. And if he's lucky, meet the Master, maybe, then can be liberated. Because the Brahma king is still the king of the third world, within the three world. The three world is destructible, it's not permanent. Ah, gracias. Thank you. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, water better. I like water. Today is Sunday. My kitchen don't cook. <laughs> but never mind. Every day eat a lot of things. That's what I mean. You know, all spies and stuff already. So drinking water is good. I used to eat no food before for a long time. Until I feel everybody's eating and I stick it out like a sore thumb. So I just ate. I just do young, you know? <laughs> but it's good like that. Otherwise, I have no more. I was born no karma already. Some of the people look at me in my palms and say, Oh, how come you have no karma? I said, I don't know. What is karma? <laughs> young, you know? <laughs> and if I didn't eat anything anymore, and all that uh, small karma of eating up to then finished. Then I'll be gone already, yeah? Then I don't have to read the sutra for you, also good for me. <laughs> Maybe not good for you. <laughs> <laughs> 